Major corporate funding for this PBS program is provided by... I'm Pamela Lewis, and um, I'm the author of uh, Talking Funny for Money, which is an introduction to the cartoon character looping area of voiceovers, which is what I do. When I went out to college, I talked like this. This is my accent, this is my placement. And I had, uh, had a fabulous speech teacher who saved my career. Uh, she said, uh, what do you want to do, dear? <laughs> I said, I want to do Shakespeare. She said, well, we have our work cut out for us, don't we? <laughs> Johnny, you're late again. Show your support for your president by voting now. Bill Clinton, a family man who's never been divorced. This is my head voice. This is my nasal voice. This is my anodal voice. This is my throat voice. And this is my chest voice. I can do it while my son Charles waits to reign. I do lots of screaming for murder victims. A lot of sweetening of the stars. You know, stars are hired because they're beautiful and charismatic, not because they scream well. <coughs> I think I could do it better if you could just tell me, what is he dying of? Because, you know, if it sounds like this, he's getting well. And they said, oh, just give us a bunch of loose, phlegmy coughs. It'll be fine. And I said, but just out of curiosity, what is he dying of? Couldn't get my finger off that self-destruct button, could I? Just what was he dying of? They said, Pamela, it's Hollywood lung disease. Shut up and cough. It's just fun being at a microphone and getting paid to talk. You know, I'm not that fussy about it. I have had a few gigs that I stopped doing because they weren't enjoyable at all. And when I didn't need the money anymore, I thought, you know, I'm gonna leave that one for somebody else. It's like my grandma used to say, if I can have that for you, I don't care what I have for myself. And of course, there's the little old lady who's very genteel and would like to wish you a Merry Christmas. What? 